All right, what is going on, Debbie? Today we're going to talk about how to make 100K uh, per year online. So I'm going to give some tips that I think are very important in order to pull that off. So before again, just going to warm up the live stream. Uh, if you want to skip to the actual training portion of this live stream, it's going to be around the three three minute mark. All right, so if you guys don't know me, my name is Dan Barak, the Debbie Super Affiliate. If you're just tuning in, uh, I've been making a full time living online since pretty much like I don't know, 16 years old. I started when I was 12. Uh, this is basically what I've learned over those 20 years. So the 100K a year mark, wow, everyone's already here. 100K a year is actually uh, pretty simple, in my opinion, once you get uh, certain things under control. So I don't care what your experience is, These, uh, this can apply to anyone out there. So of course it's going to take work, but we're going to talk about that in a second. So let's warm up the live stream. We got Alex Becker's channel. What's up, Alex Becker? He's jumping on my live stream. That's cool. Uh, thanks for the support, by the way. I saw your comment on Facebook. I appreciate that. Uh, let's see who else man, it's coming in. Uh, Mr. L uh, Laz, we got Fit Bike Co Rider, we got y uh, Yatharith, that's a cool name. Sushi, Sh Sushil, Shodnik, we got Wa uh, Router, Kevin, Jake Pack, Jake, always see you on how you doing. I Chris Man, always here. I Chris M. Uh, Phil Gaming, Matthew Jope, that's an interesting last name. Uh, Christopher, Christopher Monk, man, a lot of people on already. This is fast. Windows again, Chris TV. Chris is, uh, I think Chris is doing pretty well. He started like three weeks ago. He's already, what are you, are you at the 3K month mark already, Chris? What are you at? Uh, just curious. Um, Mr. Gaming HG says, I'm poor and I need money to upgrade my PC. You got to start getting to work. You got to start getting to work. All right, see here. Uh, so you can see here in the corner, I don't know if you can tell, I still got my suitcase over there. Got back from Vid Summit. There's like, 15, uh, I'd say seven of my robes in there, uh, seven pairs of pajamas, a bunch of tube socks. Haven't got around to unpacking those yet. Just too lazy today. So let's get to it. Let's talk about 100K per, per year online. Um, ah, shit. Did I just get disconnected? Test one, two, three. How's my volume? We're going to get you up early. I'm just going to uh, just gonna make sure we're good with the, the stats here. Windows again says he's up a bit over 3K, started 14th of September. So that was what, was that about a year, uh, a month ago? So that's Chris TV, Chris killing it with affiliate marketing. Just started uh, three, a month ago, already hit 3K in one month. That's really impressive. Congrats, dude. We'll talk about that today. All right, so let's just jump right on in. Get, get to the good stuff. So let me just switch over to here. Here's what I, I've kind of noticed from my experience. I've built a lot of different online businesses. I'm gonna say I'm not the best, the best one, the best person out there as far as like, uh, there's people who have made more money than me faster, but I've done this time and time again, tons of different businesses. Here's what I've kind of realized about making 100K a year. Uh, let's see, get to the window. Where is it? Right there. Oh, it's uh, not the right one. Let's see, display. All right, here we go. So 100K a year online. What, what I've typically seen is, uh, for, from my results, and definitely work with other people, it's totally possible to make, in part-time, by part-time, I mean three to four uh, hours per day, you can totally make about 50K in your first year. It's if, you're, if you're really dedicated to it, uh, year one, so one year, year one. That's what that means. This is horrible. So you got 50K in, in the first year. I don't think that's too out of the ordinary. Totally doable if you're at least committed to it. Uh, second year, let's do that. You can definitely hit the 100K, 100K mark. So it's 100K profit year by year two. Um, man, this looks like crap. <laughs> so we'll just go, just go with that. Who cares? So year one, that's what I'd say is a good goal. 50K. This is you're gonna have to have dedication. So what I mean by that is jump back over to me here. You're, you're going to have to make a commitment. So a lot of people come into this, uh, you know, just off the bat as a noob, you might be here just starting out. You're thinking you can just jump in, play around and make a hundred K a year. It doesn't really work like that. Now, uh, personally, you can do it in a couple hours a, a day if, if you're committed to it. So every day you got, you have to wake up pretty much doing at least an hour a day of, of, uh, of making money online. So what, man, this is a rough, rough live stream today. So basically, I consider myself a martial artist. This is this is a little bit off topic. And, and the way I, I got that way, like this is a life identity, martial arts. And the way I got that way is every day for many, many years, so at least 10 years now, I, I've trained every single day in martial arts. Now, during that time where I'm doing it every single day, I consider myself a martial artist 
But when I take time off, there's been recently in the last six months, all I've been doing is just kind of lifting weights and all that. I no longer consider myself a martial artist in this six month time frame, And the reason why is because I stopped doing it. So if you want to reach a six figure a year mark online, you have to do it every single day so that your life identity is an internet marketer. If someone asks you what you do, you're going to say, I'm an internet marketer. And the only way to do that is to consistently work day by day, even if it's just an hour a day to do it. So for those of you not making any money online, ask yourself, are you working every single day? Even if it's just an hour per day, is your mind constantly saturated with information and ideas about how to make more money online? So with this commitment, this, this new commitment to making money online, you're gonna, your brain will just naturally think every single day, new ways, new ideas, new concepts to make money online. So that's tip number one. So you have to make this a life identity thing. You have to commit to it, even if it's just one hour per day. Second thing is Google Trends. Uh, let's see, where's my window? A little rough today, guys. Just bear with me here. Uh, damn it. Here you go. Okay. So Google Trends. I, I just like to use this as an analogy here. Let's see if I can get this shoot up. I've used this a lot. Yeah, of course, it doesn't want to show up. Hold on. There we go. All right. So I, I recommend you avoid topics with decreasing uh, interest in it. So you can see acoustic guitar, I guess it's electronic dance music, whatever they call it, EMD, whatever it's called. That looks like it's kind of replacing the, the uh, people's interest in acoustic guitar, electric guitar. Now granted, I have affiliate site in this, it makes money, but the passion, it looks like to me, the passion in this market starting to decline. So if you want to make 100K a year, I'm sure you could still do it in, in a topic like acoustic guitar. It's just that kind of like the magic, the mojo is gone. So along with that, people's buy, in my opinion, people's buying uh, the, the warmth of their, of their uh, man, what's the best way to, to, to phrase this? Their passion for buying stuff in this topic is going to naturally decline with it. So I would avoid any kind of niche market where it's, you see a decline. Acoustic guitar, I'd say you could probably still de do, do, do decent in it, but you can see it's in a decline. Let's look at another one. Let's go to basketball. So this is what I'm using an example today. So basketball is crazy. Evergreen as can be, looks like there is, it's the same exact interest in it year after year. And you see it has these massive spikes during, it looks like the basketball season. I don't know too much about basketball, to be honest with you. But you can see that there's a, a big increase in the interest in this particular topic. So during this phase here, people are just going to be naturally going to buy more, uh, more frequently than they would in the down phase. So, uh, Focus on niches that have evergreen, uh, evergreen charts here. Basketball is one of them. So when I was at a vid summit, uh, I met a dude. These two guys here actually went to dinner with these dudes with some other people. I don't want to play any of their videos for uh, you know copyright purposes, but they have this channel on basketball. You can see they've done a lot of things really well. These guys are freaking killing it in this niche. They get something like thirteen thousand opt-ins per day. It's freaking ridiculous. So basketball. You can see here they've mastered keyword research. So I'm going to talk about them in a minute here. But for example, basketball, such a big audience, so many different things you can talk about. So they're doing all kinds of different things like pitching shoes. This, this thing like increase your vertical jump. There's a ClickBank product that does pretty well with that. So they've built up an audience. Um, these guys are making a killing. I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be surprised if they make like 10,000 a day or more. Uh, I know they're doing really well. So they have all kinds of different things in here. They've segued into different things like... Uh, exercises. I don't know if you can see that. Just check out their channel. This is a good a good way to 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 build a six-figure a year business or more. So check out I Love Basketball TV. They've basically taken their passion and turned it into a huge business. They got 1.1 million subscribers. So they're killing it. Uh, let's see where are we at. Let me just make sure everyone's here still. I don't know if I, I've lost you guys. Let's see. We're still good. Is everyone good? I think I got disconnected. We good? Okay. All right, we're we'll getting to the Q and A in a second, guys. I'm just a little bit, uh, a little bit scatterbrained here. So, one thing that another tip is that I, I kind of jumped around here. Uh, this is like kind of off the cuff. I had a plan for it, but I never go by plans. Usually, like my plan and what happens at the end never really turns out the same. So, uh, tip number two is I already kind of just talked about all this. Build an email list. Uh, build an audience. You can tell by off of the basketball channel. If you look at them, they're really killing it with email marketing. 
Um, they, they talk about the results. So I don't think it's a big deal for me to talk about it here. The, the, the owner's name's Adam. Uh, other guy's name's Rock. He's the one that shows up on the, on the channel here. They're doing like 13,000 opt-ins per day from their YouTube channel and their Facebook page. So it's all organic free. So they're really killing it. Uh, and what they're doing is focused on building up an audience and email list, and they built it around a passion topic. So you don't have to necessarily focus on passion topics. Like I've made, I've reached the six, I've reached, I've, I've reached the six figure mark on topics I don't give a crap about. Um, so you don't necessarily have to do it, but let me tell you, if I, I if I, there's this one topic in particular, particular I'm thinking about, if I have to make another video on that topic, I'm literally just going to like jump off a building. I can't take it anymore. So that's the, that's the issue with not going with a passion. Um, you can totally make money with it. It's just like every inch of the way is a battle. I can't stand the topic. It makes me a bunch of money. I've pretty much, um, I've pretty much let that, 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 that niche, that campaign kind of just go on its own. Cause I can't do another video on it. Even if even hiring people to do it, I just can't do it. So Stick with passions. The person uh, I just showed you, the basketball thing, check their channel out. They really know what they're doing. Um, I would recommend you follow, at least build the email list. Going on, I'm going on a little a little rant here. Let me just back off of that. All right, so, oh my God, what am I talking about? I'm just like going on. So another thing is learn SEO. I don't care um, keyword research, SEO. It doesn't matter. It's kind of like learning jujitsu and martial art. I always do this martial art comparison. Just one of those things that you have to know. So even if you go pay traffic route, knowing and understanding keywords and SEO is just going to help you that much more. You cannot lose out spending time investing in learning SEO. Uh, keyword research, just learning the Google AdWords keyword tool. I went to the Vid Summit. Uh, Vid Summit, it was like a week ago. I, I was surprised at the amount of people that had YouTube channels they didn't understand keyword research. Uh, it's just that they were beginners. So. Master the Google AdWords keyword tool. What that really does is gives you an in-depth look at what your market is thinking. So it's more than just ranking and getting traffic. It's a it's a valuable marketing tool, the Google AdWords keyword tool. All right, so that said, let's jump into some Q&A about making uh, six figures a year. This uh, I had a, be a better plan for this episode. I'm just a little scatterbrained today. I have the 100K video that I'm working on, almost at 100K subscribers, uh, 100K deadbeats on the channel here. Which is pretty badass in my opinion. By the way, thanks, thank you for everyone that watches consistently. All right, so where are we at? We got Paul O'Keefe, how you doing? How's it going? I don't know why someone just gave me their number. <laughs> That's a little weird. Let's see. WordPress Eagle, how's it going? I haven't checked out your channel. How's it going? Uh, I, I looked at your channel, um, I think it was a month ago. I could see that you're growing. Congrats about that. Let's see. So what, what are any, any questions about 100K? 100K a year. What do you want to know? What's your favorite affiliate network? This is a good question. I work with a good, a good number of them right now. Uh, I would recommend you, you definitely look at third-party uh, third affiliate programs. There's a lot of gold out there that kind of flies under the radar. So if, if basketball is your niche, type in on Google uh, basketball affiliate programs. Or check out the site Offer Vault. Or is it Offers Vault? One of those. Type in basketball. Look for third-party affiliate programs. What I would do is I would call them up or, or at least chat with them on Facebook or wherever you can to at least establish, establish a small relationship with them. Uh, you, th there's a lot of things that fly under the radar. So check that out. Is ClickBank good? ClickBank is good for certain markets. I would definitely look at it. I wouldn't write it off. You know, Look at every affiliate network. How many sites does it take to reach 100K? You can do it with one. You can totally do it with one site. Uh, it just depends on the focus and, and what you do. Christopher Monk says, I want your course, Dan, but I don't, want, I don't have PayPal as a way to pay. Like everyone has a credit card. That's, I can't accept PayPal anymore. They don't, they don't allow online business opportunity on their network. Uh, Shock Hill says, please talk about some good niche markets. Anything health is good. Anything money, like investing, all uh, real estate, all that top markets. Uh, passion topics. I just talked about basketball. Those people uh, that I just showed you are making a ton of money just on basketball. Of course, they have 1.1 million subscribers, but you got to start somewhere. So uh, health topics, bodybuilding, um, anti-aging, that's another one. 
a little competitive there. Debt relief, also competitive, but a great market to get into if you're passionate about that. Investing, another great topic. There are tons of them. There are literally thousands of different topics. Anything that gets over like a million searches a month on Google is probably going to be profitable just by sheer volume. Hannah Lewis says, how much on average will it cost in marketing to earn 100K a month? You can totally do it for free. There, there's no, mostly you're going to invest your time to get that. Uh, it, it can totally be done for free or near 100 to $200 a month. Uh, people like Alex Becker teach, uh, I don't know if he's still on now, I can't tell. Uh, he's more to pay traffic. Uh, I, I personally don't recommend that for beginners, but you know, you could argue otherwise. It just really depends on your, your, you know, your, your Kung Fu, so to speak, you know, what's your, what's your, your method of operation there. Uh, paid traffic is definitely a great way to do it. If you're into that, it's just a little bit more technical in my opinion. You totally doable though, but, uh, for beginner, I, I always, for the mass audience, I definitely recommend, you know, for the average person to just get their feet wet, wet feet wet with free traffic, blogging and all that, at least to the point where you can understand the basics lower risk. And then if you want to jump into the higher risk, things like paid traffic and all that, um, you know, that's definitely a way to go. Uh, how to keep all your accounts, info, passwords organized. I just use a text document. I don't have, I don't have any, uh, sophisticated stuff for that. Uh, if you can do just S, uh, if you can do SEO and just starting out with small budgets, what niches should you get into? So that's I mean, like the, the niche market thing. Like that's, that's, a, that's something you're gonna have to figure out on your own. I just recommended some you know, in my Debbie Super Affiliate System. I definitely talk about a huge list of different topics you can get into. I, personally, I would pick. I would talk. I would look in my retreat into my brain there and look at the things that I'm passionate about and try to meet that somewhere with a buying a buying market. And I'm off today. Whew. How how is this this live stream? I think I'm a little bit scatterbrained today. So Underground Tech says, hey, I've got a question. Is there a website that you can recommend for beginners? Uh, anything on my channel here is a great way to start. I mean, what I'm teaching here on my channel in my Debbie Super Affiliate System are all proven ways to make money online. This is a great uh, place to start. That's why I teach it here. It doesn't matter your skill level as far as like what you know about computers or marketing. This is, is, is the good place to start. Steven Perez says live stream or uploading videos, which, which is better. Both have their advantages. Um, I, I do live streams when I'm feeling pretty lazy. So there's other ones where I upload the smaller videos, even though they're shorter, they're a lot more work. These, this, these live streams just kind of jump on and kind of impromptu go as, a, as we're live. Uh, Matthew Rimber says, do I invest in precious metals or stocks? I did invest in uh, invest in precious metals. I don't really believe in those too much anymore. That was back when it was all hyped up. Uh, it just like just oh crap! Almost I got this little. This is the coolest thing ever. A little side note: I've been playing with this. It's like a little uh, magnetic hourglass. So the problem with precious metals is they just kind of sit there. They don't produce any income. They don't kick off. It's not like a business, so to speak. Yeah, it goes up in value or it goes down in value. It's not producing income. So this is kind of like an old school way of looking at things. You know, oh, precious metal, gold, blah, blah, blah. The currency's bad. It's fiat money. It's better to invest in things that produce income. So stock market, I do, I do invest in good companies, quality businesses, even if they're a little bit overpriced. I'd rather invest in a quality business than, than just kind of like speculate in, in like a, a low quality one. So things like Kimberly Clark, Coca-Cola, I have a, a decent amount of Apple stock. I did take a little bit of a risk with Tesla. I think they're just going to keep, I think it's going to revolutionize the world. So I do have some of that. Uh, I, have a, I have a bunch of stable stocks. I've invested in Berkshire Hathaway. That's Warren Buffett's company. Uh, that's all like things like Wiggly's gum. It's a huge umbrella of different things like Energizer batteries. It's all these these staple products that probably aren't going to go anywhere anytime soon. Like the internet, it's not going to change pe people's desire for Wiggly's gum. 
or batteries. You always need energizer batteries. So I like to do, um, I think Alex Becker talked about this in one of his videos. I always understood this. I just didn't put it this way in my head. Uh, when you create an online business, it's considered high risk in the sense that all kinds of different things like can happen, even though it's, ch it's cheap to start, things happen. So you take that money from your high risk business and invest in lower risk businesses that are always going to be there. This way, if, if this goes out, you still have your low risk, stable income streams. So, um, that was a good, he had put it a good way. I always thought about that in my head. I just never word, worded it like that. So yeah, that's a good, a good idea. Buy stocks that pay dividends, yeah. All right, so um, so where's a good place to start? That's a question of affiliate marketing on my channel. Uh, my Deadbeat Super Affiliate System, that's definitely a good place to start if you want to reach that six-figure mark. Uh, I just want to show you guys real quick. I, I, I don't want to pull, I don't want to talk too much about this. Um, there's several people have commented on my channel here on my Facebook page. I'm, I'm, I've already gone over this a lot, so I'm not going to go over like Dave Flagel, uh, Greg Jeffries, and no, I'm on here. No, I'm doing pretty good. These people have all reached the six, six figure a year mark with affiliate marketing, online marketing. I'm telling you for sure, every single one of these people that have put my system into action, I'm talking about my, my Deadbeat Super Affiliate System, the ones that reach six, uh, six figures a year or more, they're not just piddling around. They are totally committed to this. I don't know their workload, but uh, it's going to be more than an hour per day if you're just starting out, but these people, I guarantee you, when they wake up, the first thought in their head is making money online. When they go to bed, the last thought in their head is making money online. So if you want to reach six figure mark, that's just the reality of it. Now you can totally make like, there's people here, Terry Stone talking about making five, he made 500 a month um, in his first month. This is going to be done part time for sure, uh, especially a beginner. But if you want to Crack out days like let's see no I'm let's get his stats here I don't know if you can see this he's doing like three to four or even five it looks like he has a, a nine hundred dollar day here six hundred dollar day you can see that consistently like this is consistent money he's killing it I guarantee you he wakes up every day thinking about it so with that said uh, it can be done people doing it starting from scratch even even today like I don't think it matter a lot of people think oh is it too late is it too late the opportunity has always been there it's just a matter of are you, are, you, are you willing to wake up every day thinking about making money online? That's the difference. Opportunity is always there. Uh, a lot of people are, oh, is it saturated? Is it saturated? I mean, it, I don't think it really, I don't really worry about that. All right, so that's all through my Debbie Super Affiliate System. There's a link on here somewhere. It's probably underneath the video. How to start building your list when you're just starting out. Um, so you can use a tool like Get Response. I'm, I'm, I'm a new program. I talk more about list building. So I'm working on that. I'm a little bit lazy. Hopefully it's going to be out this month. I promised October, but I had some issues with the, some issues with right now, for example, I'm running all my stuff through JVZoo. Uh, I'm, I'm moving away from that. Basically when I built the business, I built it on there. It was stupid. Uh, simply because like that, 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 that doesn't work for my business anymore. So I'm moving away from that. Um, so basically I have to rebuild everything again for the 50th time. So yeah, that's where we're at. Top five affiliate networks, in my opinion, Amazon's always great. Amazon is, uh, a, a good go-to if you're a beginner. That's where I recommend you, you at least start and, and cut your teeth, at least start earning some money, learn the ropes there. It converts so well. That's the main reason why, uh, if you want to do things like ClickBank, you're going to have to learn to sell, sell, build an email list. You don't necessarily need to do it, but it helps. Uh, Commission Junction. I like that one now. That's a good one. There's the one that I, I, I talk about in my Deadbeat Super Affiliate System. I don't want to reveal that here. Uh, another good one is like Share a Sale, Offer Vault. Um, I mean, not Offer Vault. Uh, has, uh, has Offers is all right. Uh, let's see. Another one that I signed up, Flex Offers, had a decent amount of people. I mean, a decent amount of offers. Let's see, childcare. Childcare. That's a, I, I've not I've not specifically worked in that market. I have done things like baby strollers. That was a good market. Um, toddler. Any 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 products that like you know like parents when they get a new baby they just splurge on all this crap. That's a good market. So, f new babies first year or two toys. 
those are always proven. Parents just go nuts. It's a passion thing. You know, they just had a kid. They're like, woo, we're going to make this kid's life awesome. So, yeah, baby market's always great. Free or paid, free or paid traffic for you at this stage. Uh, right, right now, I've been doing entirely free traffic. That's just my skill. I've done a lot of affiliate traffic, too. I'm, I'm working on paid traffic. The only issue is with this particular market in like the robe and make money online for whatever reason, it's hard to get this stuff approved. So I've been trying to do paid traffic for a long time. Uh, like solo ads, I've done a decent amount of that. Um, it's definitely an advanced thing in my opinion. It's hard for, basically if you want to do paid traffic, you'd have to know how to build a business on the back end, which is why I don't necessarily recommend it for beginners. Now there's totally ways if you do, if you're good at split testing, writing copy, um, you can convert affiliate offers right off the bat with paid traffic. It's just that if you want paid traffic to work, you have to know how to build an actual business on the back end. So that's a, it takes time. It takes time. It takes knowledge, which is why I recommend for the average beginner to stick with free traffic. SEO, definitely spend time learning SEO. No doubt about it. I talk a lot about that in my Deadbeat Super Affiliate System. So uh, BR4 Esco says, how are you guys making money in your first month? My niche site is over a month old, but it isn't ranking yet. So if you're, I guarantee you, people like Chris TV, the Windows guy here, um, he, 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 I think he just said he broke 3K his first month, which is really impressive. Like I didn't even do that. I guarantee you that he is in a topic that a lot of people are searching on. He's probably pumping out content on a daily basis. Um, it's probably good stuff. So a lot of the problems that I, I've noticed with beginners is they kind of jump in and do the bare minimum or like even less. So I've, I've reviewed so many sites in the past where people have taken my system that have joined Deadbeat University, for example. They will do just like a little snippet of content. It's like 100 words. It's just, it's nothing. It's crap. I mean, that's, that's how it is as a beginner. That's the issue. And, and the issue is that they're not really committed. So I guarantee you that... Uh, Chris TV, he's talking, he's, he's talking about niches that are good. Coffee and tea. That's a good one. Yes. Uh, coffee and tea is a big market, uh, electronic tech stuff in Amazon. That's what he's saying. He's a, so when the guy that's that making 3000 within the first month using my stuff here, he's in the electronics and tech. So, so, uh, I don't, uh, so there you go. Thoughts on the gambling niche. Uh, it's profitable. You just, um, it's kind of like the payday loans niche. It's kind of in the gray area. You're always going to be have to rebuild. Um, I personally never have entered and I've never made any money in that topic. But I know like from the nature of it, those kind of like sketchy gray area topics, you're always going to have to continually rebuild. So yeah, keep that in mind. Greg Murray says the EU laws are going to, to destroy online marketers in 2018. That's just a negative mindset. You know how many times that I, people have said that, oh, blogging's dead, SEO's dead, Mar online marketing's dead. It's just your, it's just that your mindset's a bit weak. Um, you just have to train that. So I never like just forget about that. Forget about the negative uh, of anything. Like you could totally die tomorrow. <laughs> you know, like things can happen. But you're never gonna make money thinking like that. That's just the way it works. So you have to work on that mindset a little bit. Uh, I've been there, so I can't, you know, I'm not judging you. I've been there. Everyone, everyone's, everyone's been there. BR forces. I have 20 articles with over 30,000 words. What is your niche? What is your niche? Chris TV says it's easy to, this is the guy that's making about 3000 a month. Um, following what I, what I teach here, he just started in September, which is really impressive. That's really impressive. $3,000 your first month is good. Uh, it says that he says it's easy to write a review about new products. Microsoft or Apple brings out, just write good content and link direct and direct link them to Amazon. Easy enough. Like a lot of people complicate this. Just pick a market where people are spending money on, write a good review make some decent content, make some videos, and and you can just direct link to affiliate offers. It, it will convert. So don't overthink things. Uh, Roger Formax says, good niches, learn to play piano, guitar, learn to sing. Yeah, these are all good topics. 
piano is definitely one. Just look at sites like, um, if you're looking for good info, info markets, check out sites like, here, let me pull this up. I did this in a video before. Hold on, let me pull it up. Uh, that's a good site, Udemy. That's a good, a good one. Let's see. So, hold on, let me just pull up the window. So if you're looking for good info markets, for example, just go to Udemy and look at the top selling course courses. So here, how to evaluate real estate. This is easily, you can easily make six figures a year in this topic, probably within your first year if you're really dedicated. Uh, Amazon FBA, this is more of like make money online, but this is the topic, Amazon FBA, oh, you can't see that, crap. Well, here, let me just, whatever. It says Amazon FBA right here. You can totally kill it in that niche, Amazon FBA training. Let's see, character painting. Look at this. Uh, come on, man, get over there, there it is. So character painting. Um, if you know, if you have, you've gone to school for design and all that, you'd have, you'd have expert knowledge. Just make a YouTube channel about this, promote it on Udemy. It's that easy. If you don't want to make your own products, you can do that. Programming. This is a huge market. I'm sure there are a lot of programmers here. Gut up, make a YouTube channel, make a blog. It, it's something you can do in your off time, one hour a day. This is easily a six figure a year business. Let's see more. Let's get some more topics here. So trending, let's see what that's about. Trending, all right. Photography. Photog photography alone, six figure your business. Multiple, like multiple people can get into this and just kill it. Uh, passive investing, I'm gonna have to buy that, see what that's about. Um, passive wealth investing, build wealth passively. That's a topic. Personal branding, I don't really think that's sexy, but People that 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 alone, I, I um people focus just on personal branding. Uh, you can make a ton of money with personal branding. Like, look at my Deadbeat Super Affiliate uh, brand alone. Um, easy to do. Power of focus boosts your brain. Boosting your brain alone, another great topic. Look at that. Look, check out all the affiliates about how to become uh, affiliate programs, how to become smarter. Uh, let's see here. Marketing psychology. Psychology is always a good topic. Uh, dog aggression. That's worth looking into. It's a little bit smaller, but it's very targeted. And the dog, dog market's very passionate. So you, I'm sure you could probably build a six-figure business alone off of dog biting and fighting. It might, be a, it might be a bit of a grind, but you could pull it off. Let's see. Professional guitar. So someone just recommended that. Look at that, 1,800 reviews, or 1,600, can't count today. 1,600 reviews alone. That means, like, realistically, probably only one out of 20 people leave a review. Let's see. Psychic power. That's a weird one. Psychic power. Like, this is not even, you know, I don't know, maybe, maybe some people believe in this. It sounds ridiculous to me. I don't know, like, that's not my topic, but past life therapy. Like, people are making bank off of, like, imaginary things. No, like, I don't mean that if anyone was into this, like, I don't know, like, I, I don't know anything about this, but maybe I shouldn't have said that. But you look at that, you, this proof, crystal healing, energy healer, people making bank off that. So the opportunity is out there, guys. Uh, it just depends, like, do you want to go after it? It's there. It's always been there. It's just like, do, do you have what it takes? The guy that talked about, oh, EU laws are going to kill marketing in 2018, um, with that mindset, you're not going to make any money. I'm not, I'm not ragging on you. I've, I've all, maybe I was there for a minute, but I've been there. I know that. That's when you're a beginner, you're kind of like, oh God, it's going to end. It's going to end. Ooh. You just got to push through. Uh, try this ad says I bought the Dan's $17 course. It was worth it. Thank you, Dan. Thanks for the comment. Try this ads. I appreciate that. Uh, Vladiator says, how did you first learn how to blog? Uh, I learned through trial and error. That's like, I, I excel that way. That's my skill. Um, I don't really learn too well. I, I read and stuff a lot, but I learn best through just trial and error. So I started a long time ago with blogging. I had a web hosting company. Um, I started blogging there to get traffic to my site. I learned a lot there just from doing it. So, uh, yeah, uh, you, but I teach that in my deadbeat super affiliate system. Mr. Gaming HG says I give up. But do you ask? Don't give up, man. Oh wait, you're writing. You're asking me a question. Let me see. Beginner is writing a good way to make money? Yes, absolutely. Writing is a great way to make money. Oh, you mean like um, 
writing articles for other people. Like writing itself, the skill of writing is probably one of the most valuable skills that you can have. That along with um, public speaking, I'm working on that now. As an entrepreneur, like those are the things you're gonna have to know. Let's see, how many how many money we need to start? I want to I want to pay traffic don't free. Well, like I said, the key to pay traffic is you need to know how to track, how to build a business. I recommend you start with free, free traffic. Cut your teeth there. It's going to be a little bit of work. Like, I think you're you're looking for like this magic answer. Follow what I teach here. Put it into action. Learn as you go. Make money. How many posts should I before I should include affiliate links? Five to ten. The way I look at it is as long as you provide good value, you're going to be all right. Don't be overly spammy. So just provide good value. Uh, JD, JB Dev says, just get the program. It's super worth it. Uh, a lot of these, excuse me, a lot of these questions are answered and Dan is a motiv good motivator. Makes the steps easy to follow and get going already. Thank you. I don't really consider myself a good motivator. Like I'm the laziest person. Maybe that's why I'm a good motivator because I'm so lazy that like you just got to, like I'm telling you to do it, you just got to do it. <laughs> uh, Ch Chi Town Terrence says, I see you ain't like the other YouTubers that show a lot of Lambos. Um, I, 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 you know, I went through that phase already. I bought two Porsches when I was younger. The thing with the cars is that it's nothing but stress. It's stress and you're, and you're losing passively every month. You're losing money every month just by owning the car. Like the one Porsche I had, was like just having it sit in my garage. It was like taking a hundred dollar bill every week and just throw, throwing it out the window. So even though it was just sitting there, it was depreciating. If you had to pay like t tires on a Porsche or, or if I'm not mistaken, this was a while ago. So to get your new tires on a Porsche was, was 500 for each back wheel. So it's a thousand, it was like 1500 to $2,000 for freaking tires. So, uh, oil change was like three hundred dollars. It was just, and, and here's the other thing that I learned about flashy cars. Everyone's like, "Yeah, look at you," but it's secretly behind the behind the scenes, they're like, "I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna I'm gonna mess that person up." Like it, it, something about a car really triggers envy in people. So you 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 silently build enemies without even realizing it. So it's just not worth it. I, 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 I Uber, I walk in Uber everywhere now. Like life is so much better. Life is so much better without that stuff. Okay. So that, sorry about that tangent. This is, this is, a, this is a rough live stream today, isn't it? Can't man, They all can't be winners. Let's see. Chris a AG says, I may have missed it. You mentioned in earlier streams, you have a new system coming out. It did, uh, I've, I've, I ran into the two setback. Basically, here, here's the deal. I built this original business on a platform that just doesn't work for me anymore. Um, there's nothing wrong with the platform. If you guys are familiar, familiar with the business, you know what it is. It's a great platform. It's just, it doesn't work for me anymore. So uh, I'm moving away from that. It's, it's basically like I have to... <laughs> I have to rebuild everything from scratch. I have people, I have people doing it for me now, so it's not as much work for me. But I, I'm basically recreating, like I'm rebuilding the foundation of the business again. Um, so, like, I need that to be good before I release the new program. The the, the actual training for the program is, uh, I'd say it's like 50% done. It's the 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 video for it, the intro video for it's done. It's like halfway done. So. Uh, it, it just, this is the way online business is like you constantly have to go back and rebuild, uh, each time you get a little bit stronger. So yeah, I apologize that it, 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 it's not released when I said it would be, I just, this issue with this platform is kind of a big issue. Basically the way uh, I'll, I'll talk about that later. Did we buy the wrong one? Uh, no, the Debbie super affiliate system is like, if you're a beginner, beginner and intermediate, this is where you're going to want to start. The new program is kind of like the next level up. It's still good for beginners. It's just that we talk more about building the email list. Um, video marketing is going to be more um, a bigger focus. So basically, I'm talking about how to build a YouTube channel and use your YouTube channel to build an audience, which is basically how you make a bunch of money. So Deadbeat Super Affiliate System, you don't need to do that. 
It's it's more for just starting out people that are a little gun shy. Uh, that'll take you to the three that uh, that will I can't say will legally, uh, but that's good for the three to ten thousand dollar a month mark. So if you just want to do this part time, that's what I recommend. Uh, the new program is like that on steroids, in in, in a nutshell. When's the next member uh, the W University class? That will be Sunday. This this Sunday. I'm a little this this trip threw me off. I'm I'm, I'm not going to do events as much anymore for the next like six months. Uh, Alexander says I bought your seventeen dollar Debbie Super Affiliate System. I'm struggling to find a way to pay for the tools. All you need is domain name and web hosting. That's the minimum. That's the minimum. So you start with that. If you if you can't afford things like uh, Longtail Pro, you don't necessarily need those to start. You can do just domain name and a hosting. Tony Knight says you're going to hit 100K subs today. Uh, I don't think today, uh, may, but it's going to be in the next three days. Really happy about that. I'm going to do a cool little live stream. Uh, stay tuned for that when I hit 100,000 deadbeats. Uh, I'm going for 1 million, by the way. I'm going for 1 million subscribers. 1 million deadbeats. I call it the deadbeat revolution. I'm trying to create this movement of getting people from their nine to five jobs, wearing suits and all that to this lifestyle right here. I call it the deadbeat revolution, getting people like out of, out of corporate slavery to, or whatever, you know, nine to five slavery to the deadbeat lifestyle. We're going to aim for 1 million deadbeats by this time next year. See if I can do it. I don't know. We're going to see. Uh, Gavril says, do I have a closed Facebook group for the buyers in my system? I was thinking about doing that uh, right now. I'm just a little bit, I'm trying to hone in a little bit more. I might do that right now and it's not in there. What are some good American-made sites? What does that mean? Trying to get, what are some good American-made sites? That's a weird question. Never had that before. Uh, Jake Poole says, if someone has plenty of time and commitment and starts fresh with your program, what is a good fair estimate of time to get at least a few hundred a month coming in? That's a very uh, a, a achievable goal. I, I like legally, I can't, I can't legally say like what uh, you can get. All I can do is show you results from people that, that put in the action. So let me just pull up a few guys, a few, a few, um, testimonials here. I get these all the time. Literally get like testimonials just about every day. So here, I'm just gonna pull it up real quick. I know I've showed this a bunch, but I'll just show you a couple guys. Uh, let's see. All right. So 300 a month, if that's what you're aiming for. Let's just pull a few, a few off of here. Uh, So Terry Stone looked like he was able to pull off 500 a month within about a month. So 500 a month, that's Terry Stone. Uh, this Mason Lee says he got his first sale within 48 hours. He's making 100 to $200 a day. I don't know how long the difference between the time frame there was. Let's see here. Um, I, I to be to be honest with you, I, I if that's not the right question, uh, that's not the right question. So let me talk about that some more. Uh, this question of how long to get till I make a, a few three hundred dollars a month is not the right question. What I would what I would rather you focus on is like how to get to ten thousand a month, not how fast, because you're going to be disappointed if if it doesn't happen. Um, just like any business, like. There are things that can go wrong. Like this isn't a guaranteed thing by any means. This is, you're creating a business. The more, but the more you learn, the more you do stuff, the better your chances are of ha having to happen. The right question should be, what will it take to get to $300 a month? Not how long? Because I don't think your commitment's there yet. Gavril says on the screen you show results of your students. Is it, is it from a closed group? No, that's my 
that's an open, that's just kind of like a, I post on that page, this is a public page, just kind of like things where I go to events and stuff. Um, there's a link to that. By the way, if anyone has any results recently with my Deadbeat Super Affiliate System, feel free to uh, comment on this thread here. This is a pinned one. So if you're earning any, any income with my system, feel free to just put a quick little a message on there. My Facebook page, I just send this facebook.com slash deadbeat super affiliate. I really just like post things that I, um, you know, like when I go to events and stuff, just like, just to kind of keep it like kind of real, like here's a vid summit. I, by the way, I totally wear the robe like anywhere I go. So there was a, I met Gary V the other day. Um, he's nice. I like Gary V. He was like, what is up? He was like, dude, what is up with the robe? So it's Gary V right there. Um, he's a friendly dude. So yeah, there's that. Um, you know, there's my little mini deadbeat. I don't know if you've seen that. That's my little, uh, I might mass produce those. Uh, you know, I have different things. Like here's me at another, another event. Mickey is pretty funny. Let's see. They, he went, I asked Mickey if he would, uh, pa go onto a bench and just get and, and be passed out next to me, but he, he wouldn't do it. <laughs> All right. So let's see. Let's see. So Christopher Monk says, I'm in Dan. I bought your course and I'm going to get started tomorrow. I can commit six to eight hours a day. So yeah, like if Chris, if six to eight hours a day, there's like no reason you can't make money online with that kind of commitment. It's just going to happen. I mean, it's just the way it works. Like the, the more, the more that you push through and do stuff, the more likely you're going to make money. Mysterious Gaming HD says, should I buy Dan's system? Sean Glenn says, yes. Dude, it's $17. I mean, I, I know I've used this analogy many, many times. Like how, how many times a day did you spend $17 without thinking about it? But yet when it comes to investing in books, investing in skills, it's like this, we, we have to go through this long process of, Oh, should I invest? Should I invest? You, 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 you spend all this time, uh, spending money on things you shouldn't without thinking about it yet. When it comes time to spend money on things that, that can improve your life significantly, it, it's just this human nature. Like I do it too. I'm like, Oh, should I buy this book? And I'm usually like, well, all I need to do is pull one piece of information out of it. And I'm going to make my money back tenfold. So you should never, it should never be a question of should I invest in myself? It's, it's a, it's a no brainer. If, if the question is, should I invest in myself on any piece of education? It's a no brainer. One, one small tip, one small, for example, I talk a lot about SEO in my program, how to do keyword research. One small idea from that alone is going to make you 10 times the money back, hundred times the money back, if not more. Viral Magazine says, what's the best way to get backlinks? I like to build them myself. I like to build um, private blog networks are always a great way to do it. It's cheap and, it's, and it's, all you need is a few good links and can do a lot. I also like social bookmarking. Uh, for example, just to show you guys, um, I want to show you guys some results here. Everyone's like, oh, you know, SEO is dead, blah, blah, blah. Social bookmarking is dead. Here is, I've, I've, I've just been working off on this recently, so... This is one of my blogs here. High, super competitive market. Where are we here? Let's see. Just to show you guys. This is literally, literally using the tactics in my Deadbeat Super Affiliate System. One of the most competitive markets out there. 200, where's my mouse? Hold on. 200 a day, 176 a day. This is literally like one of the top most competitive markets in the business. Uh, just on my off time, doing nothing but social bookmarking. A lot of search engine traffic. So 200, not all of these are from search, search engines, but half of it is. So even in competitive markets, when you do it right, you make good content. This is from blogging. So yeah, there it is. Proof in the pudding. Young Goat says, bro, Dan, you're smart AF. Um, I don't really consider myself smart. Um, if, if I was, I'd have like a billion dollars right now, but if that's what you think, uh, thank you. I'll take, I'll take the compliment. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. 
Devin Blair says, this is a good question. Devin Blair says, I keep getting denied by the Amazon affiliate program. Should I just use a different affiliate program or should I keep doing Amazon? There are thousands of other profitable networks out there. Amazon's great, but it's not the only dog in town. Um, I've made just as much money, if not more with other ones. So So John says, can I buy the guy with PayPal? Unfortunately, I can't accept PayPal anymore. They no longer allow online business opportunity on their network. K3 says, I'm seriously thinking about quitting my second job to focus on affiliate marketing. I feel I'm just too tired after 12 hours of work. That's a lot of work. That's a lot of work. 12 hours a day is a lot of work. So what I, what I, look at my the, the video I did two days ago. Watch that. Tell me what you think. Uh, Pokey Lee says, what do I think about cryptocurrency? I think it's a fad. Um, it just doesn't fit my criteria. As in, it's not secure. Like, when I make my money doing stuff, I don't want to just throw it into something that, you know, could make money or could lose it all. If I buy, for example, if I buy, here's just the best way to look at this. Let's take a company like Johnson & Johnson or Disney or um, it's another really stable one. Like uh, KMB, Kimberly-Clark, Kimberly they make tissue and all that. They've been around for like 100 years. Each one of those I just talked about. Not quite 100, but they've been around for a long time. They they have assets all over the world. They have their businesses tuned in. Um even if the market drops at the end of the day, let's say you buy a thousand dollars worth of Johnson and Johnson at the end of the day, even if the market drops by half, everyone freaks out and they sell everything. And just the, the value of the business goes down. You still have $500 in a very high quality company. So even if it, it goes down, you still have a piece of a business that works really well. It's going to continue to kick off income for many, for probably the rest of your life. So that's a floor. You create a floor of your uh, of income that's going to come in for the rest of your life. So with cryptocurrency, it could go up. It, yeah, Johnson Johnson's a bit high. I probably run the numbers. It's probably um, it's a bit. I, I wouldn't invest in Johnson Johnson right now. I was just an example. Uh, just run the numbers though. Uh, what I was saying with cryptocurrency, like it's just too volatile. There is nothing really that's produced. As in, there's no products being made. There's no there's no uh, income coming in from this, the business itself. So that's the issue with that. I'm sure, and look, I have pr plenty of friends that are making a bunch of money with cryptocurrency. It's just that, it's just that um, it, it's not, it doesn't fit my personal criteria. Like there are people that specialize in it. I'm sure they're making bank. It's just not, for, for what I want to do, which is secure, stable, passive income for life, pure freedom. That's, it doesn't fit my criteria. And mine says, when am I le releasing a new program? I'm aiming for November. Now it's a month late. It's $500. November is when it, it's going to be. It's just, I got to re I got to rebuild the freaking foundation again of the actual back end of, of, of this one issue because I have it tied into a system that's not really good for me anymore. Let's see. All right, this, we're, we're, we're almost in an hour. I'm going to end it off today. Uh, let's see. You know, people say crypto is risky, but it can make huge profits. Yeah, I'm sure you can. It's just, it just doesn't, it doesn't, I, I want to be able to sleep at night. Like, I don't want to be up. I don't want to wake up tomorrow and be like, "Oh God, is it all going to be gone?" I don't like that. I R Chris says, um, "Those of us already in the dead system will transfer." I don't, I don't know. I'm not, I don't think I understand what you mean, Chris. Al Alec F says, "Dan, what's some advice?" This is a good question. Let's end with this. I talked about this before. He said, "What's some, some advice for someone about to drop out of college?" <sighs> well. I dropped out of college. I knew I wanted to be a business, a businessman for life. Like I already knew that when I was younger, but my, my parents were like, you gotta go to college, gotta go to college. So I was like, you know what? I'll do both. I'll do it to college and I'll, and I'll, I'll run business. I'll run a business as well. And that's what I did. But then I realized as I went to college, I was like, basically if I go to what they're teaching me in, in, in college is 
how to become an employee. E even though they have business classes, the best that I will become going to college is a manager if I follow that route. So for me, because I wanted to start a business, I dropped out. I was like, there, and, and what I'm learning here is nothing to do with my business. So I dropped out and I made the commitment right then and there, no matter what, like I would never go back. I, I, would, I would never, like that, there was a two routes that I could take. I could take the secure, prove secure, proven route of, of getting a job, you know, working my way up as a manager, all that BS, or I could do it on my own and suffer and, and potentially suffer a lot. It's been, it hasn't been too bad. Um, like making, making, uh, making the Deadbeat Super affiliate brand, that was a lot of work. Affiliate marketing, a lot easier. But anyway, I made the choice. There was a line in the sand. It was like, do I want to go this way or do I want to go that way? That's how I saw it. So I was like, all right, I'm going this way. Screw this way. Like this not, I don't even care if I, I can make more money this way. I don't want to do it that way. I want to do it this way where I build something on my own um, and I forge my own path. So if you're planning to drop out of college, it's like you're, 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 it's called burning the ships. You're burning the ships. Like once you drop out, you have like a year or two to adjust. You might be able to go back, but basically the older you get, the less valuable you become in the workforce. Like I know that's not true if you continue to train, but if you're like 35 and you want to go back to college and you don't have anything in there to show for it, like you're in trouble. So this is a decision like you have to be set on this path, which is to go out on, on your own. And I'm going to be honest with you. There is going to be pain. There's going to be a lot of intestinal pain about going it on your own. If you don't have another source of income, like I've been there. Um, affiliate marketing has always been my alternative source of income. But if you want to build up an actual business, um, there's a lot of pain involved with that. There really is. It's a lot of mental and, psych mental and psychological pain. Like the whole time you're like, God, like everyone else is doing this way. They're like safe. They're safe. And they're going to, they can, they can, uh, Watch TV and then go out every single night and build a lot and get a lot of friends and all that. Um, that's something you kind of sacrifice if you want to do this. But the rewards of this, this other route of going your own, the reward internally, uh, what you can do with your life is far greater than what you can get from here, in my opinion. So, yeah, that's that. It, I don't know where I was going with that. Uh, hopefully it helped. A mind says, what's the last book that you read? I'm working on right now. This bad boy right here. Basic economics. Um, this is hard. This is a hard read, but I'm knocking this one out. I'm, I'm determined to not read this cover to cover along with some, an, uh, after I read this, I'm going to do this one about security analysis. Uh, you know, these are just foundational skills that I think that everyone needs to have. Okay. So, that said, let's end, out, end out on that note. Uh, my name is Dan Brock, the Deadbeat Super Affiliate. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon so that you're notified of any videos that I release when I release them. Oh, also check out my blog. I'm just, I've just been working on this, deadbeatuniversity.com. Uh, basically, the way it works is I, I have another marketer taking my video and summarizing what I teach and adding some additional thoughts on each post. So there's some additional tips there for, from another uh, another marketer um, who writes it for me. He, he, he already goes through my system. He's making a bunch of money with it. But I, it's basically like he gives his kind of perspective on it. So, uh, yeah, check that out. It's deadbeatuniversity.com. What else do I have to say? Oh, uh, we're almost at 100K, 100K deadbeats, which, by the way, everyone is watching. Thank you. You've been a part of that. Uh, couldn't be here without you for sure. So thanks everyone for your support during joining the movement. I call it the deadbeat revolution. This is like a, a movement that I'm trying to create, which is basically uh, getting people out of the, the system and living this life. This is a real life. Like this can be done. Like I travel, I get to have, I do whatever I want to do. Um, I'm doing, I'm not trying to brag, but I'm doing better than everyone who decided, right? all those people that took this route, all my friends, you know, <laughs> What was I just doing there? All my friends who did this route, <laughs> they are, uh, you know, I'm doing way better. So I'm trying to, I'm trying to teach people the, 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 this path here. This is the revolution, the deadbeat revolution. So I need to put that in the better words. Uh, I'll come up with that later. All right, deadbeat. So that's it for the video. I dragged on longer than I thought. Uh, hopefully this will, what did you guys think by the way? Is this, was this a little bit rough today? Uh, it might be. Whatever. 
You know what? Can't, they all can't be winners. All right. That'll be it. See you guys later.